My grandpa was named Andrew, Ambrose Finnegan. As kitchen table, I learned. My ears to say, hey, Joey, nobody's better than you, but you're no better than anybody else. Maybe it's the Scranton in me. I got a little bit of a chip on my shoulder. I'm worried about when they can make next month's mortgage payment. Well, it is what it is because he is who he is. That's why it is what it is. You know, remember when he, he went on, he decided he was going to convince Bob Woodward what a smart guy he was. So he went on, yeah, smart guy. I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true international effort to pressure, isolate and punish China. Donald care, Donald Trump thinks health care. Well, I'm sick and tired of smart guys. I gotta admit, it's all within our power. Hang on. To send every single person qualified to community college free. And if I keep going, you're gonna freeze your fingers off. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right, that's right. Thank you. Far too kind. You guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? I'm going to give you an example of how crazy the people on the left are, especially the hands on the view. All right. We have people that will say Trump is mean, SOB. He tweets awful things. He cusses like a sailor. He just a what? bad overall guy. He don't know how to talk. He's very limited with his words and all sorts of things that, you know, anything that's disparaging towards Donald Trump, they just love to label him. Now, we have Biden is on a campaign trail and he's cussing. He's using foul language. And Joy Behar says this. Reported to have used salty language while talking about Donald Trump behind closed doors. I don't know what the big surprise is. I mean, we've seen <laughs> we've seen this with him before. Watch the clip. The President of the United States of America, Barack Obama. <laughs> now they're saying that Joe is need to be more like Trump if you want to win. Is that what they're saying? A word, searching for a word. Okay, personally, I think using bad language helps keep you young. That's just my opinion. Yeah. And let's know. face it, Trump would make Mother Teresa curse up a cup of storm <laughs> because he's so annoying and difficult. Is that what you heard, guys? Because that's what I heard. He needs to be more brash and use foul language if he wants to win. He got to be cool to get the cool votes, right? Is that what I heard? Okay, so does Biden need to show more of this this kind of fire on the campaign trail? Because I think it works for him. So frankly. I just saw him uh, right? on. Yeah. Let's hear what uh, this broad here says. I just saw him on Tuesday. He was in Miami uh, doing an event, and I, you know, the, the host of the event invited me to come. And I wanted to go see him because we hear so much that he's, like, on his deathbed, and he's, like, you know, so frail. So I was like, okay, let yeah. me go see what Joe's looking like. And Joe's looking good. And Joe's sounding yeah. good. Yeah. And Joe's ready for a fight. <laughs> Joe Biden is strong. You saw him at a fundraiser, and he's looking strong, <laughs> and he's ready for a fight, right? But we have the Super Bowl interview that he declined. He's not doing the traditional no. Super Bowl interview. I'm glad for that because I don't want to see. I, I don't know why uh, presidents do be doing that. I think, uh, I think Obama's the one that started that shit, you know, doing interviews during the Super Bowl. But Biden had declined because he can't do that. You know, they don't know what he's going to say and how it's going to come off. So. Biden scrapped the net. You know they got to hide him, got to put him back in the cellar and, and pump it up with some uh, some fluids because he's looking bad out there. Okay. 
They say if you cuss, you're smart, right? Is that what I heard on the View? I used to think that certainly the president should have a little more decorum, and I, I tend to like that. And I also used to think they um, never do, though. I mean, they, Lyndon Johnson used to talk to people while he was on I the toilet bowl. I guess I'm thinking bowl. about Barack Obama and his <laughs> eloquence. Yes. Uh, but but I will say, I used to think people that used cuss words had less of of a vocabulary. Yeah, that's true. And and it's you taught me that. That's right. Because Joy cusses all the time, <laughs> and 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 so Joy. And so Joy sent it. me a study, and the study says that it's not swearing is a sign of honesty, uh, uh, cursing is a sign of intelligence, <laughs> and that <laughs> swearing, swearing is also a sign of verbal superiority. She sent that to me. That's okay. right. Let's take a listen to what else interesting they are saying on this stupid ass TV show. I completely agree that he should, um, you know, be Joe. We know that this is Joe. This is yeah. how he speaks behind closed doors. It's not even behind closed doors anymore. This is how he, he, he speaks. <laughs> so it's a sign of intelligence, right? So we got Trump saying this. Swearing is a sign of honesty. The Democrats have to now decide whether they will continue defrauding the public with ridiculous bullshit. Need I say more, guys? Do we need any more proof? How about Trump saying this? Cursing is a sign of intelligence. They want to go in and raise the price of oil because we have nobody in Washington that sits back and said, you're not going to raise that f***ing price. You understand me? <laughs> wow. These guys are so delusional. They want Biden to be more like Trump. They want him to cuss like Trump. Do you think inflation is a political liability ahead of the midterms? That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a bitch. We know Biden with his dementia, allegedly, and his uh, try hard. He likes to impress people with his stories. It's not going to go well if he start cussing off the cuff. So you people got to be careful what you ask for because he's a cranky old man and he needs his bedtime. So you guys got to be careful and uh, be careful what you ask for because you might get it. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, I'll see you again. And all you Democrats, get off my lawn.